Hey guys, Runecan Methodical here, and um, as you can see, I'm wearing a full set of the Wicked Robes. I got these yesterday night, so I figured I would bring you a review of them. If you're wondering, yesterday would have been Thursday. Although, m less so yesterday night, and more so yesterday really early in the morning. I don't know, um, I still feel like it's Thursday because it's kind of late. But uh, it is technically Friday. I just checked the clock on my computer to figure that out. <laughs> it's fine. It's perfectly fine. So we'll say it was Wednesday night. I got my full set of Wicket robes. And you probably notice that only the hood is recolored. That's because Jagex is a total failure. And if you bank any piece of Wicket besides the hood then you have to lobby and log back in for the emblem and colors to show up on them. I'm assuming they'll fix this, but uh, for now it is kind of annoying because this is my new skilling outfit. And every time I want to go skilling after I do PVM it. Why is the cape turned blue? That's really ridiculous, but at least now I know I don't have the lobby, so I'm not sure what I did, <laughs> but I uh, I don't have the lobby. So yeah, this is my new skilling outfit. I'm going to get rage fires for the boots eventually. I've been camping glaciers for them. I'll tell you, I did 46 glaciers kills earlier, and I didn't even get a shard of armadil, let alone a um, pair of boots, so... Yeah, there's that. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, show you the rewards. To, now, to recolor the full set is 2k, but it will only recolor the pieces of Wicked equipment that you have equipped at the time that you buy it. So make sure you have a full set before you try to recolor anything. And you didn't. This is, uh, this is where you buy the Wicked set. It costs a total of 25k, not including the hood, of course, because you can get that for free. And uh, if you're wondering, the next thing I'm going for is actually the Greater Runic Staff. I'll be picking that up. And this is the recolor interface. I liked that the best, but there are a few other ones, like lighter blues, some greens, which I don't really like, and there's oranges, yellows, and some purples and pinks. And obviously the generic Wicket color from you know, the inventory. I kind of wish they'd recolor on the invent as well, but I guess I can kind of understand why they don't. Now, uh, I'm sure you're all interested in what they do. Um, well, maybe not. I'm sure anyone interest, like really interested in what they do probably looked it up on the wiki. But anyway first thing I'm going to show you is where the decals show up. It's actually on the left arm for the body cape, back of the back of the head, and the dong flap. And also people have been complaining that the wicket legs are supposed to be robes to go with the robe top. Well, I have an explanation as to why Jagex could not do that. Have you ever seen a robe with a dong flap? Exactly. Oh, uh, that completely defeated the Okay, um, the stats on them, they do give magical bonus attack and defense bonus, but it's pretty bad. And uh, the cape gives negative 6 weight, which is actually better than a spottier cape. And the wicket robe top gives minus 10, which is worse than agile. I'm not sure by how much, because I don't actually have agile. And the legs are minus 8, which is also worse than agile, but I'm not sure by how much. I heard that it's... Uh, they're minus two a piece under Agile, which isn't actually that bad. And now, obviously, the thing you're concerned about is uh, the Wicked Hood. Hopefully, yes, I haven't used it today. With the full set, you're able to teleport three times, claim runes four times, and you get an additional 75 essence per day, which is pretty good, and they look cool. So I'd say, overall, it's definitely worth the set. It's only 25k, and you're going to be runecrafting there anyway probably all the way to 99 because I can't imagine anyone wanting to runecraft somewhere that isn't the rune span for XP at least 
I'm sure after the bot nuke, room prices are going to shoot back up, but it's uh, another story. And obviously with the massive pouch, you'll have a pretty decent increase. I'm actually going to get that just for doing the Wicked Hood. But of course it requires 90 room crafting, so yeah. Also, I, um, I guess I can run into the portal and show you where I camped, because I'm sure you're interested in what I did to get my rune crafting level. Now, I actually didn't camp S Hounds at all. When the rune span was released, I was 72 rune crafting. And I just did S Wraiths, uh, Death S Wraiths. Oh, there's a rune sphere active. They're, uh, they need a buff as of right now. They're not really worth doing. Join chat rune sphere. No, that's, that's fine. Oh, I forgot my runes. <laughs> if you, uh, if you didn't know, you can actually when you join one of the levels, you'll spawn next to Wizard Phoenix, and if you talk to him, he will actually sell you some runes, 10 of each rune that you can make for 142 reward points. So I always make sure to have enough reward points before I leave, and I like to have my setup like this with the essence in the top, and these need to be flipped. Kind of OCD about that, but uh, that's just the way it was the first time I was in here. At least, I only really remember these two in the essence, I don't remember where all this stuff was the first time, but this is the way it was before, so this is the way it has to be every time I'm in here now. I've just shown my stats page, I didn't even click there, but yeah, it's my stats. Got 72 to 81 rune crafting, and that got me the full Wicket Robe set, as well as Esteem Rank 7, which, to be fair, doesn't cost much at all. And, uh... It also got me um, the recolor, so that's it's pretty good, if you ask me. And on the way to 99 here, I'm thinking, I think I worked it out, and not including nodes and wizards, about 5 mil EXP in order to get uh, the rank 1 esteem. So I'm probably going to end up getting that before I'm 99. Obviously, the staff and the massive pouch are higher priority. Well, maybe not the massive pouch, but the staff is. Massive pouch is only 1k tokens, and you can get that pretty quick. But anyway, if you come to the highest floor here, and you just go north one and east one, yes, that is east, um, you'll find the spot where I camped, and I'm in world 39. It's my home world, and I just showed my friends list. Shout out to all these guys, especially him. Uh, this, these guys are, these guys are legendary, okay? I'm going to give a shout out to their clan, because they have been here having a clan event since day of release, and they have not, their clan event is still going on. I'm trying, let me see if I can find a couple people who have been here, and we've been runecrafting together for days. Uh, she Screams has been here for literally like three days straight, and there's another one named Ourobori, who is not here right now, but uh, they were here quite a lot. They have the Tier 2 staff, and uh, the staffs do look pretty cool. I saw someone with the Tier 3 one earlier today. It was pretty beast. Not gonna lie. But yeah, this is where I camped. I basically did every node that popped up and this Death S Wraith. And if you didn't know, nodes are fixed now. They're lasting extremely long, and they're fairly common. Also, up here, here you can... Oh, lag. You're going to want to keep an eye out on this island. Because sometimes a uh, blood pool or a lesser node will uh, spawn up there. And if it is indeed skulls or better, you're probably going to want to grab it. Assuming you're a 77. They, people have said that it's not really worth camping here until you're 77, but I found it to be pretty decent at uh, lower levels as well. There's actually an island off east further that I camped until like probably almost 78, and then I started coming here because the nodes spawn at a better rate. So that's what I did. I don't know much about the bottom floor, but if you guys are interested, I can probably do some tests down there find out where a good place to 
camp a lot as hound with a good node spawn rate is and get back to you on that in another video also um, I'm gonna have a video explaining rune spheres uh, later on and that's pretty much all for now so I will see you guys in the next video